today's fight. New Jersey, title defense. Steve in, jab, and conversely, in order to get inside, came in. He's going to get hit, but he's got to make it. Okay. Getting underneath Hill, who's a lot of people think it's a 36. I mean, <laughs> box Virgil Hill. He must outpower him. When he does hit him like he flurry, he must make Hill in order to break Hill's rhythm. Right. The problem with the punch was this is the WBA light heavyweight championship. There was a tremendous disparity in speed, not just very slow. But the hand speed of Virgil Hill. Again, Chez getting underneath the Hill punch. The fighter with. Yes. There, you saw Bobby miss that initial punch. Expected to get stung by Bobby Chess. Waiting for Bobby Chess to throw. There, Bob. Again. Well, just a bit. What does he do? Chess, when he has. When he punches, he needs the counter punch. Not pay attention to the crowd. They cheer everything thrown. Good second round by both. He can't punch moving to it. He can't punch effectively going to the right. Hands and make him vulnerable to a headshot. Well, Bobby Chaz pulls it left hook. Oh, and Good left hook by Bobby. Ruling it a slip. Boy, oh boy, I'd love to see the reef. Has stunned him because he is not. He was going to rule it a knockdown. Uh, circumstances. Do I want to sit and trade punches with Bobby Stiff? And Chaz is timing his punches and countering well. Another right hand to the body by Chaz. Effectively bending at the waist and getting underneath and sweeping hell. We're only in round two, and Virgil Hill has a little bit of a look of death, a little bit of a look of desperation. He doesn't look as sure of himself as we've seen in the past. Tony Perez is a veteran Virgil Hill's range. He has to either move it, bouncing on his toes, but really not moving. But there he landed a good right counter punch, a punch that ended up going by Bobby. Actually, it wasn't a counter, it was a boy, oh boy. Uh, that is a knockdown. I'm sorry, folks. That's late. Over the face of Eddie Fox. Virgil Hill punch right hand, big bone to the right hand. That time, again! And since about midway through the third round, he did not really go after Hill as much as I thought he could have when he had it. He lost his title. Uh, Virgil Hill faces. The credited as an amateur judge. A lot of meaningful action here. This bout scheduled for 12. Oh, throw all those punches without the judge's scorecard. That does. But it's Chez the aggressor, Hill the counter puncher, and he would have to win it early. Condition fighter, in terms of pure condition that you'll ever see. <laughs> to be in the knockout crazy. Couldn't have this fight much closer. Two rounds. Chez, he's got to get in close to there. Out of range. It's not how you throw punches. Staying in Virgil Hill's range. He has to work inside. Get inside. But range, that's when he gets tagged. Right now, he's, he's landed his reach, and he is, is shorter. There is hair at the fight. That's it. Who's that? A number of factors in his personal and his professional life that he's had to overcome. Oh, and there. a good left and an effect it is, but nonetheless, the canvas. But that's about 30 seconds after eating too much. He's not pulling the trigger. You can see opportunities. <laughs> standpoint, Bobby Chez on the halfway. He's got him in a corner. Oh, hell, clearly one of his best assets. Beautiful footwork. And in this round, we're going to be taking a... That time, Chez, those jabs, the first one was good, but Chez blocked those two punches, but those jabs are not... Uh, amateur. Oh, we're talking about stiff jabs. Just a nick. After this word from our ABC station. Being busier, he missed a lot of punches. Entering the stage of the fight that if your box doesn't let his hands go. The eye in the seventh round really not a factor unless Chez can reopen it, a non-factor. To do anything. Well, neither man really very effective. There, too good. Hill wanted. He can't win a boxing match. And Bobby Chez clearly must take some chances. There, even if it means becoming a little rap. Yeah, too good right hands to body. Tried an uppercut, but Gee, he, he almost looks pathetic here with some of these punches. I mean, for a fighter who's a veteran as many as he is, a former world champion, again, Hill complains about the box. Uh, too wide, awfully slow. Well, I'm surprised that Virgil Hill is staying in the court. Maybe the punches don't have enough on to even bother Virgil. That's a good point, Dan. I was watching too much maybe Chez and not watching the back of Virgil. Ooh, there. Hill just missed that right upper. Last November, right. here, that fight here in Bismarck as well.
Good left hook uh, counter punch by Virgil. Arsenal. Bringing it home. I mean, he scored with it. So Bobby Chase comes here in the ninth round. You know, Chase is getting home with that jab right now. I think it, it Good, good jab by Virgil. We'll return to Bismarck in a minute. Point. It is designed. It comes from the fact that he feels he's always a better. That's a tremendous pace, but right. I fought every round. That's what Bobby needs to do. Couldn't sustain it, but that's exactly what he needs to do. For him to know that. Well, again, right here, Bobby. This is a good sequence right here at the start of round ten for Bobby Chase. That's all. But this for well, the first time it's at least since round three. This is the tenth round. Bobby Chess. That time he made Virgil miss. Oh, good right hand lead by Virgil Round. Cheering on. Classic mistake. He is trailing right now. He just has to suck the worst in the sports. Well, he hit down because he's not doing enough to win. Absolutely. Go with both hands. Tried the right hand. Has to put punches together. Now Virgil Hill is. He's clearly slowed down in this this round, allowing Chez to wade in and taking his professional career. Virgil Hill got one in on Bobby Chez. Uh, and say what Bobby Chez in the footwork of Virgil Factor. Yeah, but arm punches, they weren't real hard punches by Chez. Virgil Hill coming out of the corner, doing a little body. We've got three. This is left, the left hook. The determination, the second. Hook by Virgil, a little bit extended. Oh, Virgil Hill in the middle of the ring wants to slug it out. The ring. Very, very humble. His credit to everybody else but himself. I'm just not sure how smart this is because Bobby Chair. I, I think you I'm don't absolutely right. It's not a tactic. round. But despite what Virgil said, except he should tactically. The only time. Pull the knockdown. Ruby Chez not able to do anything with it. Ever since then, 30 seconds left in this fight. As they roar their approval. Still.